Welcome to Art with McKenzie. Thanks for being here so we can do some art together. We are going to make something awesome. Be sure to check out my website and Etsy page for all kinds of cool art for your home. For your home. All right, welcome back. Let's get started with making our tongue. Now, if you've been following me along, uh, you should have a dinosaur about at this stage. If not, then go check out my other videos. If you do, then uh, let's start with adding a cube. We'll hit GZ to bring it up to height, GY to bring it to the mouth, and then GZ to kind of position it. And now we'll just hit rotate to kind of get it uh, angled where we want. And then we're going to scale it just a little bit. And then hit SZ to scale on the Z because it doesn't need to be a big old fat block, just a nice thin tongue for our dinosaur. Then you go into edit mode, hit control R to add an edge loop to divide it in half. We'll go into edit mode and x-ray and we'll grab the left vertices and delete them. And we'll come over here to our modifiers. We'll add a mirror modifier and we will uh, check clipping. Uh, we want to keep that checked that way the middle part of our sculpt stays connected together. So we're going to extend this out just a little bit, hitting uh, G, and then we'll hit E to extrude, and then we'll do S to scale, and then SX to scale on the X axis. And then we'll fatten up, uh, grab the space and fatten up the back of her tongue a little bit. And we'll get rid of our dinosaur and all of our other components. That way we're just looking at a tongue. So we'll grab this back face and bring it back out just a tad and then we'll hit uh, G and move it down so give it a little bit of curvature to it. And we'll put our dinosaur model back on and make sure it's looking good and it looks great. throw in our teeth to make sure the tongue isn't hitting any of her teeth. So now we're going to hit control R and scroll on our mouse uh, to add a bunch of edge loops. Uh, we'll do it on the side and the front um, and this will give us a bunch of uh, vertices and faces to play with. So we'll hit A uh, to select all and then Q for your quick link uh, to subdivide. And now you have uh, a lot of faces to play with. So we'll go into Sculpt now. And we're going to start smoothing out this tongue. Nice and gentle. Don't uh, over smooth any particular area. And just focus on the top. Uh, we're not going to worry about the bottom too much. Uh, because we're going to want to print this out. Uh, separately, so we want that bottom face uh, to have as many flat curves as possible just to make it easier on our printer. And if you're not 3D printing this, then it won't matter because uh, no one's going to see the bottom of, of her tongue anyway. But we want to add some uh, curvature to it, uh, to the tongue. So we'll grab uh, one of these edge loops by hitting Control. Uh, and left mouse button on the edge loop we want to manipulate and we'll turn on proportional editing and we'll scroll down to get our little circle there uh, to, to move all the faces that we want we don't want it too big and be mindful when you move the front um, of her tongue because it will split and divide and that's where that clipping comes in because uh, it'll keep that tongue together so just move it around carefully and, and be mindful of what you're doing. And it's getting a pretty cute looking tongue. So we'll do the same thing here. Hit uh, control, left mouse button, uh, I'm sorry, alt, left mouse button to grab an entire edge loop uh, and we'll move it around as well. So now that we have a pretty good uh, shape, we'll go back into sculpt. And we'll just smooth it out some more and uh, 
fix anything that may have been manipulated during the editing mode process. Get the front of her tongue looking nice and smooth. Smooth out that hard edge. See, we want to keep that bottom there uh, nice and flat. And then the top there is nice and smooth. And just keep smoothing out um, until you get the shape that you want. So I'm just going to use draw to build up uh, the sides of her tongue a little bit to give uh, her tongue some more character. And you can do this any way you want. I'm just kind of eyeballing it to what I like, to what I think looks good. So you eyeball it and you do it the way you like. Or do it the way I'm doing it. It's up to you. It's art. Do it any way you want. So we're going to use a new tool called Snake Hook. And what that does is it grabs uh, very few vertices and faces and it'll pull out uh, each vertice individually and it'll kind of grab it like a snake hook. I kind of base their tongues off of uh, lion tongues that have these really tiny hooks that help uh, grab meat and flesh and uh, water uh, for, for when they eat. So I kind of, I like to think that, that big old carnivores uh, had the same. And you can put as much detail or as little as you want in here, it's up to you. But I'm doing just a little bit uh, for our tutorial today. And that is it. I'd say that looks good. Um, it was fast and easy. Uh, we learned a new uh, trick today with that, that snake hook. Follow me uh, on my other videos. Check them out. Uh, build a dinosaur with me. Uh, do some art. Do some art with McKenzie because I enjoy doing art with you. Um, and I'll have links uh, at the end of this video for those other videos. Uh, and I like throwing a little guy in here at the bottom just to see. Sorry, Gennaro. 